Hi guys, it's Charlie, and welcome to my two years on Tostrin Gel video. Um, so I'm actually two days early, it technically starts in two days, but today was the best day for me to film, so I figured I would just go ahead and do it. I'm pretty sure there won't be any rapid changes between now and two days time. If there happened to be, I would change this video, because it probably won't be edited by the time this is posted. Because the 23rd is my technical two years date. And oh my god has it flown by. Like, before getting on hormones and things, every day drags, I know. And it feels like it takes so long to come around, and then it does come around, and you're like, bomb. Next thing you know, it's been two years. Like, honestly, I'm not even exaggerating. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's all been crazy. I don't really know what to say about it, but I'll do the kind of usual video where I talk through my changes and stuff. Um, I think the last one I did of these was a year ago, so yeah, I will base them off probably how I feel from now versus a year ago, um, and even though that sounds like a long period of time, I feel like after that year mark, my changes really started to slow, I think I hit this kind of, you do this big incline of changes, and then it does kind of, you know, level off a bit, so I think that is normal. Um, but yeah, so... Since last year, uh, some people have said that they think my voice has got deeper. So, as per usual, I will stick in a little voice comparison video. Hi guys, this is Charlie and this is my voice. One day, two months, three months, four months, on five months, on six months, on ten, seven months, eight months, on nine months, on ten months, on eleven months, on one year. My name is Charlie and this is my voice, two years on testosterone. So, I won't know till I actually edit that and play it back, but... Is it deeper? Nobody knows. I definitely feel like I don't need to put in any effort to make it deep anymore. Um, I can just speak naturally, which means I can kind of pronounce things more and yeah, it's nice. <laughs> definitely. But like obviously a year ago, when I was a year on testosterone, that was also the same. It kind of, again, levels off. Um, but yeah, for the rest I will go kind of head to toe and run through my changes, I guess. Um, so, where should, should I start emotionally or do I end with emotionally? Because that's not really on the head-to-toe spectrum. I'll finish with that. Let's, let's finish with that. So, head, hair. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, as you can see, long, and that is because of coronavirus. Um, obviously, I did not have a choice in it. However, the barbers are opening back up, and you know what? I feel like I'm kind of digging it. What do you guys think? Should I cut it? Should I keep it? Because the thing is, I've always liked long hair on guys. I think it looks cool. It's something that I was was like, ooh, maybe. But I never really could grow it out. Um, and it always gave me such bad dysphoria. Obviously, I could never grow it out. And then beyond that, it just kind of annoyed me. Whenever it got too long, it would just start to piss me off and then chop it all off. Um, but like, it is kind of longer now. And it's got beyond that stage where it's really annoying because now I can push it back. Um, and dysphoria wise, it's been like, it's not too bad. Um, I'd say literally only about two or three times since it being kind of long ish have I noticed it giving me dysphoria. And um, I feel like honestly, the best thing that I just do with it at the moment is like ignore it until tomorrow because I know that it's not a reliable source. I know it's nothing that's like makes sense. So I feel like. Yeah, sorry, I thought I wasn't playing for a second. I feel like if I just ignore it for a day, then it'll probably be a bit better tomorrow. And you know what? That usually works. Um, so it does give me smidges here and there of dysphoria. I feel like it's just probably something I'm not used to, and I just haven't had any kind of even slightly long hair in a really, really long time. Like... Like like six or seven years long, so it, it's been a while. Um, but yeah, I am potentially growing it out. We'll see how long that lasts. I will keep you updated. I will try and update every now and then with photos of myself. I know I'm really bad at doing it. I will try and update my Instagram. So if you follow me, um, I've changed my name on there. I am now Toy Boys R Us. Um, there is a reason for that in case anyone was like, why have you changed it? And whatever. Um, so basically, one of the reasons I haven't done a video in a really, really long time is because I went to uni. 
where I decided to go stealth and not tell anyone about it, and I feel like I'll probably make a whole different video about this. But basically, I was getting notifications on my phone, obviously with like the trans boys are us thingies on, so I was like, uh-oh, haha, <laughs> don't want to out myself. So yeah, I, I changed the name of it so I could keep active on it, and then I wasn't active on it for a while. In fact, I deactivated it for a while, um, while I was at uni, and I was like, no, actually, let's not do that. So then I just changed the name. Um, and now I'm back, bitches. I've just moved house. I don't know if you can... Yeah, I live in a house now. Woo. <laughs> Which is nice. I'm getting so off topic. Anyway, where was I going with that? Yes. No. What was I talking about? So. Face. Um, don't know if it's changed. I do think, and I don't know if this is because I've pushed my hair back now, is part of it, or just because I am changing, perhaps, facially. Um, but I will, I'll, I'll put in a photo of me compared to me, like, one year on testosterone. Maybe, like, zero years on testosterone, they can see all three. Um, but, as I was saying, I do feel like I look a bit more my age. Now, don't tell that to people in shops, because I'm still getting very much ID'd. But, I at least feel like I'm looking... Like, when I first started tea, obviously, I, I feel like I went from, like, 12 to 17, and then for a while I kind of hovered around that 17, 18 mark, whereas I am actually 20 years old, so... Um, but yeah, I feel like now I'm at the very least looking kind of getting up to 20, so I'm gonna say that's a win. <laughs> um, but I don't think facially much else is happening. Um, oh, what about facial hair? No, I stand by it, not, not much is happening. <laughs> It grows like every now and then and I have to shave it off like I'd say genuinely about once a month um, It's mainly neck beard I should have taken a photo before I shaved last but I didn't but it's like fluff you can only see it by light behind me It's not really facial hair. I don't know what it is. I get rid of it and It's not coming in any force so Yeah, I'll keep you updated on that as well, but somehow I feel like until I do my 10 years on testosterone video, I'm probably not going to have any kind of facial hair. And you know what, if you look back at one of my old videos, like I think before I even started testosterone, I was like, oh, I'm probably never even going to grow it because my hair's so light, and yeah, I was right. It comes through blonde, and you just can't fucking see it, and it's just like fluff, so. People are like, oh my god, but then shave it off and it'll grow back darker, and I'm like, yeah, I've done that like 12 times now, but it's still the same. So. We shall see. Am I bothered? No. To be honest, I don't feel like I'd suit facial hair right now. Um, since I still am looking probably slightly younger than my age. Um, so no, I'm not particularly bothered. And I don't feel like I need it to pass anymore, which I think is why I was so desperate to have it before testosterone. Um, down. Down, am I? Where am I going from here? These are hard. I actually don't even remember how to make a goddamn video anymore. Right. So, um, chest and shoulders, I guess, we'll talk about. Shoulders-wise, um, I do feel like I've put a bit of muscle on, I will say that. I noticed it only recently when I was, like, like flexing the mirror or whatever, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, but I was, like, stretching my arms, trying to do something, and I was like, oh, I'm a bit more built than I had originally thought, so, there's that. Um... And my chest, as of last week, is one year old. Happy birthday, bitch. So, I will make a whole separate... I know I'm saying I'm going to make all these videos. This one I'm filming today, so it is going to get done. I'm going to make a whole separate video about that, so that I don't make this one too long. I'll look at my one-year video and see if things have changed, because I'm stumped as to what to talk about. Oh my god, what a drama. Who watched this? <laughs> Did you guys watch this? Okay, I found out some stuff I'm talking about. Um, I said in my last one year video that I had an Adam's apple that had come through and that was just chilling there and I said I wasn't sure it was going to stay same size or get bigger, but here's a little screenshot. Um, Adam's apple, I definitely have noticed from that video and here is it now. Um, I don't personally think it's any bigger, I would personally say it's about the same, but I think that's probably... It's at least not noticeably bigger. Oh, okay, so apparently I had this theory that because I rub my gel on my legs and not anything higher, that that's the reason that I was, like, very hairy on the leg front and not very hairy from the belly button up. Um, I think that's probably a shit theory. I was also said that I was going to ask my gender clinic whether I would be able to swap it to the arms, if that would help. Um, 
I actually ended up never having an appointment with them properly. I think we spoke on the phone briefly recently because of COVID. Um, but honestly, like, I just give up with them. It's a useless fucking service. I cannot be bothered. Like, I think I'll probably make a whole video about... Did I already make it? Oh, I think I already made a video about my experience at Daventry, but it's an obviously an ongoing thing. Like, I'm still with them, but disorganised. Just to sum it up, like, disorganised. Bad. That's it summed up, I would say. So, um, yeah, I don't really know, like... I sent them off my bloods recently. My doctors basically called me and were like, oh, they seem a bit abnormal, but we're not in their position to say that. So I mentioned it to the clinic and they should tell you. So I sent them off and were like, hey, listen, this is what the doctors said was abnormal. And then they basically just replied being like, yeah, you're fine. But like, I don't know. It didn't seem like they'd looked into it all. They were just like, okay, thanks for the bloods. Looks good. Like, that's it. I was like... I, I don't know, like they didn't even mention that the doctors had said something else was wrong, which I thought was odd. Um, knowing them, they wouldn't even do anything about it, so... We shall see. Uh, I'll probably have another one soon, if the doctors think I'm dying, then we'll just have to like chase them up, I guess. <laughs> Love the commitment. Okay, and the video's over. So basically, there's not many things to talk about. <laughs> um, I took some photos of me, like, pre t and now, wearing the same clothes and things, because I thought that was funny and cute. So I'll chuck some of those comparisons in to let you guys see how much changing I've been doing. Um, and like, I feel like I really skim things and get confused by what I'm talking about. So if you have any questions at all, please just message me. You can message me on my Toy Boys Instagram. I will reply there, even though I'm not very good at posting. Or you can just message me on my main. I really don't mind. I'll reply there as well. Um, or comment, message me anywhere, I will reply, I promise. I am actually quite good at it, even though I'm not very good at posting. <coughs> and... Yeah, I think that's basically it for the video. Subscribe to my channel if you do want more content, and I will post every now and then. And like the video if you enjoyed it, cause... Make me feel nice. Um, if you fancy, if not you can just click off it right now. Bye. <laughs>